Alright, hey, what's up guys? I'm back today with another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a simple lighting setup in Cinema 4D. Um, I've had several people request this tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and make that for you guys today. Uh, so first thing first, uh, let's go ahead and go into our render settings and get everything set up there. So on the output tab, let's go ahead and change our width and height to 1280 by 720 aspect ratio. just so that's an HD and uh, this is just going to be a still frame picture whatever so we don't need to mess with the frame range unless you're making this an animation of course you'd have to go to all frames let's go to the save tab we'll just change this to PNG so that's a pretty high quality format and then right here we'll choose wherever we want to save it name it whatever and hit save anti-aliasing let's go uh, change that from geometry to best and just change the minimum level from one by one to two by two and we'll leave the max at four by four let's go ahead and add some ambient occlusion in here and then some global illumination and let's change the GI mode from uh, still image to IR plus QMC and change the diffuse depth to uh, the number two and change the gamma to 1.8 and then go to the radiance catch and we can drop the stochastic samples and record density to low and now our render settings are all set up so uh, the first step here is to go up to the primitive objects icon and drop in a plane and we'll just make the plane about 700 by 700 just like that and let's go ahead and create a material for the plane let's just double click down here um, go to the color and and we'll leave it about right where it's at. Let's just drag this right onto the plane. Okay, so the next step here is to just, uh, since we're creating a lighting setup, obviously you want to have an object or a point of interest. So just add in whatever object you want to use. Uh, just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to use some spheres. And I'm going to scale these down. And let's increase the segments to about 28 or so to make them a little bit smoother. And then I'm just going to drag and uh, move these up a little bit and then drag them over and then I'm just going to command or control on the keyboard hold and drag to duplicate the sphere and we'll do that one more time so now that we have three three spheres one two three and we'll move this one over and then we'll click and drag this one over as well and if I go to my top view they should be pretty much right in the center uh, so Let's move this one over a little bit more. All right, it looks about good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is actually create some materials for these spheres. So double click down here again, uh, double click on that material that's been created. And on the color, <coughs> just make this any color you would like. I'm just gonna choose a red color and just press okay. And then we're gonna go down to reflection, check that on. Go to the brightness, bring that down to about 20% I mean there's really no set value just kinda whatever you want to do personal preference anyways go to texture for now go to the mix strength and once again bring that down a little bit to your liking I'm gonna use 15% so now we have a basic material uh, sorry about that guys I heard some beeping it was getting really annoying anyways um, just drag this red material or whatever material you created right onto the spheres and uh, since we have global illumination checked on, if you were to go ahead and do a render preview, you're not going to see anything. It's just going to be a black screen. So this is where the lights come into play. This is where we're actually going to uh, set up our lighting. And um, uh, just to keep ourselves a little bit more organized, I'm going to highlight all of these uh, spheres, the three of them here. And just press Alt-G on our keyboard to group these objects into a null object. So it just keeps our hierarchy a little bit more organized. Of course, you could double click here and rename that to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Okay, so here's where we create our lighting. So to do that, let's just go up to the objects icon again, drop in another plane, and we're going to scale this down to about 100 by 100. That should work okay. And let's just drag this up a little bit. Then we're going to go to MoGraph, go to Cloner, and we're going to drag and drop the plane and make it a child of the cloner. And the cloner parameters, uh, change the mode from linear to grid array, and then go to the um, the count down here on the Y um, 
option and change that to one so we only have one layer of planes and not three and then the three by three count uh, for the X and Z should work fine and then these little orange dots here on the side so we're just gonna grab these uh, orange dots here in the side and we're gonna drag these out to space these planes out a little bit so right about there and then we'll grab this one and space these out a little bit so you can see kind of uh, what we got going on there we're just gonna space them out uh, to give it more of a lighting uh, kind of feel I guess and uh, then we'll just on the top view we'll just drag this back a little bit to about right on that line right there and then um, what we can do from there is just go to the rotate tool and uh, we can actually click on the red axis hold shift and go in increments of five and we'll drag this to about a 45 maybe 50 degree angle it doesn't really matter once again personal preference uh, you could also go down to the P rotation and type in any um, any degree you want there as well. So that is that. Um, so what we're going to do now is go ahead and add the material uh, to the lights. And this is really simple. We're just going to check off specular and we're going to check off color. And just make sure you check on luminance and we'll leave it right at 100%. And that's your material for the lights. So just drag and drop these onto the cloner or the plane. It doesn't really matter. Okay, and if we go ahead and give this a quick render preview. You can see, so um, it's a pretty pretty good looking effect. Um, I mean, uh, the lighting setup is pretty decent uh, for as simple as it is and as quickly as it can be done. Um, so it doesn't look too bad. now. You may want to see these lights in your scene, you may not. It depends on what you're going for. So if you would not like to see those lights, if you don't want them to be seen, then you're going to have to go up to uh, the cloner, uh, click on it, then right click, go to Cinema 4D Tags, go to Compositing, and then just check off Scene by Camera. So if we render this right now, uh, the light source itself is not going to be seen. It's just everything else in the scene. Obviously, as you can see, uh, you just see the sphere. So you can see uh, what you can create with this um, it's it's pretty pretty decent lighting setup for as basic and simple as it is um, but for uh, that's pretty much it guys uh, that's all I really wanted to show you um, that's that's really how simple it can be to set up some lighting with no grayscale gorilla plugins like I typically use in my videos um, so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed um, I actually wanted to talk to you guys about something um, I'm actually planning on building a gaming PC. Um, now, first off, I want to say I don't want to give anybody the false impression of the idea that I'm shying away from my tutorials that I do on this channel or anything that I do on this channel. This is a motion graphics channel. That's what I'm going to continue to do. But just to do something a little bit different for a change, I've thought about making a tutorial on how to build a custom gaming PC. I have all the parts with me. Um, I actually just got my case a few moments ago. Uh, I have all the components and everything ready, so um, I'm, I'm really anxious to get started on it. So my question is to you guys, if you would like to see a tutorial on that, please leave a comment down below and, and say yes or no. If not, that's fine too, so be it. Uh, but I, I really would like some good feedback on that if you would like to see it, because I don't want to make a tutorial and then have nobody watch it, because it's going to be a lot of work either way. But I'm willing to do it, so if you guys want to see it, uh, let me know. If not, I won't do it. But just wanted to put that guy, uh, put that out there. And um, thank you guys for watching this as usual. Uh, if it helped you out, you liked it, please thumb the video up. And uh, thank you guys for watching once again. I will see you later. Peace out.